This is the Cherry Autonomous Race Car. Um, it uses a Neato XV11 LiDAR. It's uh, technically from Neato Vacuum online. It's probably the cheapest LiDAR you can get. It uses a Razer 9 degree of freedom IMU. It has good documentation and implementation in ROS and a built-in Arduino that does onboard processing. It uses a Intel RealSense R200. Uh, it has implementation in ROS and it produces a RGB image along with depth information and a point cloud. Also has a Logitech uh, C920 and attached to it on top I have the Microsoft receiver for the Xbox controller. Has an additional GoPro just for recording has a Logitech uh, speaker, and also uses the Amazon Basic 7-port USB 3.0 hub. The cool thing about this hub is that it's powered by 12 volts, which you can get from the Energizer XP18000 battery. And in the middle frame, it uses a NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. It's a very capable uh, system on chip. Um, I'm using this particularly because the 256 CUDA cores. Um, the CUDA cores allowed me to run uh, a trained TensorFlow model that seemed to be doing relatively well at uh, really high speeds and FPS inputs. And on the bottom, we have a Teensy 3.6 and a RF receiver that is tied to this key fob for a kill switch. So now I'm gonna deconstruct the car so you can see the other components that it uses. So underneath the top panel, I have the solid state drive, um, which I'm using as the root file system. Uh, I'm not using the onboard storage for my uh, OS. I've basically moved it on the SSD entirely, um, along with all my other programs. The more storage space I have uh, allows me to record all the data just on one device and make copies of the SSD in case something goes wrong. So we have uh, linear regulators, one for the uh, motor, which runs at 3 volts, the other one that powers the uh, laser inside the LiDAR, which requires 3.3 volts. Also have power coming from the regulators that power the LEDs and signal wires that go back down to the TNC when it's turning left or right. So this is the Energizer XP18000. I'm using this to power my Jetson as well as my Amazon USB hub. So this is the TNC 3.6. Uh, I'm using that to generate the PWM for my motors. Uh, this is the RF receiver. I'm using that as a out of system loop to a kill switch as well as toggle my headlights. And this is just a logic level converter. 